What's up everybody? Julius here, and today we're gonna be getting into the ways of the shove it. So the first few things that you wanna get comfortable with is to learn how to ride smoothly on your board. And secondly, you have to be comfortable with your ollies. Now to pop shove it, you'd want to first do the motions of the ollie. First, you'd want to place your feet in an ollie position. Then you'd want to pop your tail down as if you were ollieing. Once your tail comes in contact with the ground, you then want to scrape your foot in a semi-circular motion towards the back of you. Now it's just a slight rotation. The board will then rotate 180 degrees. And meanwhile, you want to get your front foot out of the way. You can raise your front foot up, move it off to the side, however it feels comfortable for you. Don't let your front foot mess with the board. Once the board has made a full 180 degree turn, stomp on the bolts. Returning your feet back onto the bolts when you land is crucial. Usually when people are learning this trick, they just place their feet anywhere on the board just so they can land it, not knowing that they could possibly snap their boards, lose their balance, etc. So always aim for the bolts. Now you may encounter a few problems with shove -its. Firstly, you may shove the board a little too early. This will cause the board to actually gravitate away from you. You'll cause the board to spin around, but then it will almost boomerang away from you because you have yet to make contact with the ground using your tail. Now remember, you're literally scraping the ground with your tail. In my eyes, I always think of it as scraping the tail as well as my wheels behind and across from me. So I know for a fact that it's rotating in that direction. Secondly, hesitation. When you start hesitating on this trick, the board will then gravitate away from you when you pop or when you not pop. And you'll find yourself actually just jumping and not popping the board. And you'll feel completely out of sync with the board. Have good faith in yourself and know that in time, the trick will come. Early realize that a good chunk of skateboarding is falling and failing. And the more you fail at it, the graceful you'll be in landing your trick. So that about concludes this video. If you have any thoughts, questions, or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Julius. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell for my future videos. I'll see you all in my next one. Later.